What is this huge thing? This is what you'll be riding in, the Popo Mark III. It's the ultimate underwater vehicle. Under... underwater? Oh, um, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm thrilled you volunteered to take it for a manned test ride. There seems to have been some miscommunication. We came here in order to enter the ruins of Frozen Light. Ah, so that's why you're boarding the Popo Mark III. The entrance to the ruins is in the underground lake. Under... underground lake? Hey, quit stealing my lines! So in other words, we can't get to the ruins of Frozen Light unless we take the Popo Mark III? Correct! Jay, so this is what he meant by risking our lives. If this fails, there won't be any second chances. This ain't gonna break down while we're in it, right? It's just as durable as the Mark II. It'll be like riding in a giant clam. The Mark II sank. What are the odds of success? At least 10%. Too low. That's low! Hell no! Really? Popo, is there anything we can do to raise our chances of success? Well, the problem is low shock absorption when bumping into walls and objects. Now, if we were to use the horn of a Mighty One to construct a bumper, then perhaps... This is a graveyard for Mighty Ones. Interesting. The Orisorin referred to Grand Gates as Mighty Ones. This is where Mighty Ones come when they feel they are nearing death. I had no idea Grand Gates possessed such a trait. Fascinating. Do you think you could go and see if there's a decent-sized horn among the bones of the Mighty Ones? The horns of a Mighty One should be easy to recognize. They resemble a crown. Understood. We'll take you up on your offer. Teach, you getting a little excited? If you encounter any living Mighty Ones, you mustn't agitate them. Please pay proper respect to these great souls as they face their deaths. Did you hear that, Norma? Don't look at me! And you two, cut it out with the nodding. all over the place, but I don't see any that look like crowns. Hey, Spot, do something. You're a dog. Can't you sniff one out? Geek ain't no dog. Yes, come here quickly. 
This... this isn't my fault, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... Hi there! Slowly... Slowly... <laughs> what are you doing, you idiot? I am Moses Sandor. And I come seeking sacred heirs. If you judge me worthy, I can get sacred heirs, right? Red! And it's time to show you what I can do. Take this! Ah! Moses, what are you doing? Oh, it's a test of strength. Bring it on! What are you talking about? You moron! You just... <laughs> Yeah, well, don't drag me in. How eat this? How eat this? Stone blast. How eat this? How eat this? Let's finish this. All right. How eat demon fist? Demon fist. Wait. Lightning. How eat this? Demon fist. Demon fist. Wait. First aid. Something the matter? Y'all look upset. Look is not the word. Hold on, Chloe. Let's hear his explanation first. Uh, okay. Y'all know I was looking for sacred heirs, right? According to the stories my people tell... We heard all that already. And... Well, I figured if I whooped a grand gate in a test of strength, it'd find me worthy. You figured? Come on, I'm begging you, give me sacred airs. Without it, I'm... How come y'all are still so strong after that fight? Uh, no! Cut that out! Hey, don't hit me there! Ah! What's going on here? Oh my, it's a mighty one! One, we humbly apologize for disturbing your rest. Anyway, enough about that. Can we have your horn? Whoa, mood swing again. Can he really ask it like that? 
For that matter, can they even understand each other? Looks like they're chatting just fine. I shall now convey the words of the Mighty One. He says, No problem, brah. It's like Mondo Heavy always getting in the way. So yeah, just yank it. It'll always grow back pronto anyway. The Mighty One has spoken. You have got to be making that up. I wouldn't dream of it. We've got a fine horn now, so let's return to the workshop. being such a wuss. It's all your fault. You didn't protect me, Red. Hey, I've been doing my part. Then from now on, Min Shield. Like hell. you'd need to be willing to risk your lives. But... I even emphasized that part. And what was your response, Miss Valens? Well... Surely, Chloe, you of all people, a knight would never shirk the responsibility of your own words. Chloe, you don't have to. Coolidge. No. How can I back down after hearing such words? I shall enter the ruins of frozen light no matter what it takes. Is it me, or are you getting a little choked up there? Shut up. Ah! Jay and I will work on the upgrade now. How long do you think it will take? One night should suffice. I guess we'll just have to wait. All right? Well, you're all free to do as you please in the meantime. Sentinel, I hereby challenge you to a race in the underground lake. Let's see just what an Alliance Marine is made of. All right? You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> 